What is going on to you Pisces out there? Hope y'all having a great day. Smash that like button. There's a link in the comment section below called a link tree link. Click on it. It will redirect you to a website which has all the ways to be able to financially support the channel. So I can most definitely keep the show going. Um, I just want to go ahead and say thank you to everybody that reached out. That reached out. Thank you to everybody that showed some love with these views, the likes, everything. Really appreciate it. People who come through, get readings from me, buy my books, all of that. Appreciate it. So for you, Pisces, um, you have the Two of Cups, the Sun card, and then you have the Hermit. Okay, Hermit, right, is the opposite zodiac sign in Virgo. But so, um, you know, having that type of opposite axis. So the Two of Cups, the, um, the Sun, and then you have... And then you have the Hermit right here, right? These three cards right here, the Two of Cups and the Sun card really are, are about um, how uh, it's not necessarily what it is that you may think that it is per se. This is more so about how a lot of you Pisces, this reading will be about how a lot of you Pisces would, would like to be by yourselves more than you would like to be with anyone right now. Let's get into it. The Two of Cups and the and the Sun card is really about how a lot of you see relationships kind of right now like a letdown. I'm not even I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. And I'm not even going to waste your time. You look at it like a letdown. A lot of you Pisces, you see that you know with everything that you Pisces bring to the table. A lot of you, you know, now granted, a lot of you Pisces bring some problems to the table. But then again, too, a lot of you Pisces bring solutions as well to the table. Um, so you bring that to the table. Also, a lot of you Pisces often bring a lot of love to the table as well. So you're willing to share resources, right? Pisces is one of those zodiac signs normally that is willing to actually share the resources, no matter how much money y'all make or how much money you, you don't have, whatever it is that you get, the good thing that a lot of people like you for, or one of those things, I should say, that people like you, Pisces, for, is your ability to actually share resources. So where it's not, it's not about, you know, it's not about, um, it's not about being greedy or having to keep everything to yourself. It's about no matter how much money you Pisces make, you Pisces still will reach out, try to show somebody some form of love by sharing your resources. You know, as long as you 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 love them, as long as you have some sort of connection, some sort of affinity to them, you will try your best to really reach out and show them some love, right? And that's something that you Pisces have really tried to do over the course of, I should say, years of you reaching out. I know I, I you know, I, I have plenty of, of Pisces supporters off camera, you know, plenty of people that I spoke to who is Pisces off camera. And, you know, my conversations with a lot of you is that a lot of you have very much so tried to do the love thing We, you know, you really have loved, you really have tried to love other people, even when they were acting crazy, even when they were acting like they don't have any kind of common sense, you really did try your endeavor best to love as much as you possibly can. And the thing about it is that, you know, they would always just pretty much try to find a way to take whatever kind of love that you Pisces would show them and take a dump on it, you know, disrespect it as much as they possibly could. And obviously that goes without saying that that would get a lot of you Pisces upset. That goes without saying that they would anger you. At the very least, it would disappoint you. It would get you, you know, it would, it would, it would, it would harden you from uh, love because here you are trying to show love to somebody else. And here it is that they are basically taking a dump all over it and trashing it, throwing it in a trash can. So now the hermit is about, so this is really something where a lot of you Pisces 
a lot of you Pisces very much so. You you see that a lot of people tend to have a lot to hide about them anyway. And that's that's part of the thing, right? They want to have a lot to hide. They don't want to take chances. They they don't they don't want to take chances. They really don't. They don't. You know? So many you know, so so many people want guarantees. Me and my mom, who's a Pisces, my mom's a Pisces, was talking yesterday and we was having our, our con you know, later on, later on uh, that day. But we was having our conversation and, 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 and my mom herself was like, listen, when it comes to things like this happening today, because she came, you know, she she basically, you know, long story short, she basically uh, told me some stuff or whatnot and you know what I mean? We was talking about it. And she was like, she was like, you know, long story short today, when it comes to like trying to get to know somebody, she was like, a lot of people are really are caught up in the whole ideology of like uh, money. They don't trust anymore. They don't, they don't want to show love anymore. It's about money, usury, trying to play somebody, get someone for as much as they possibly can. And she's like, you know, that's really crazy. And I'm like, yeah, it is, you know? And the hermit represents, it represents a couple of things. Well, first and foremost, it represents you Pisces wanting to essentially and striving to stay away from the modernized version, the microwavable, you know, because most relationships nowadays are really only lasting a couple of months. It's not even really lasting years. It's really only lasting a couple of months, you know, a lot of the times because within those couple of months, people are really showing you how crazy they really are as opposed to, you know, creating something that is sustainable and can even be built better on top of, can be broken down and be and rebuilt even better, right? You know? They, they don't necessarily want to do that. What it is that they want to do is they just want to tear the whole house down, so to speak. And a lot of you Pisces are seeking shelter from that. You know, you don't want to be spiritually, of course. You don't want to be in a relationship, quote unquote, if people can call that one. If those individuals, all it is that they're going to do is just be around you to break the sanctity or break the solemn bond that you Pisces have with them all for something quick because they want to, right? So now the temperance, right, is about how so a lot of you Pisces would rap, would very much so be single around this time, you know, and I and, and we've been going on this journey together and I've been talking about how you Pisces very much so want this. And this is something that a lot of you, if you ask me, you know, you have really learned to ultimately embrace, you know, you really have learned to embrace that, that, you know, being single is not necessarily, <clears throat> excuse me, the worst thing in the world. And you're absolutely right. It's not the worst thing. In the world. It really isn't the worst thing in the world. It really isn't. Because you and another person really have to even get along with one another for the two of you to really to, for the two of you to get along, you know, the two of you really have to get along with one another. And if they choose that they don't want to do right, what exactly can you Pisces possibly do? The best, you know, a lot of you Pisces are learning from your mistakes and you're doing the things that you know how to do. You know what I mean? And you're trying your best. You're putting your best foot forward. But then at the same time, you know, like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, Again, this is why it is I'm, and I don't care about what it is that when people, I just block them. When it is that they say you are what it is that you are attracting. It's like, come on, yeah. Like I've been in certain situations myself, Pisces, where I was talking to somebody and I was, I, basically I was dating them. And um, long story short, when I was acting my own regular way, they was giving me pushback. And then I said to myself, I said, let me see if I can actually see what type of time this person is on. So I'm going to act like I'm a person who is like a gangster and a thug. 
and bef and and it was a whole personality switch because before when it was me saying me being cool being regular to them right they was coming from the perspective of like they didn't they they didn't care too much for that but when i was acting like a stereotypical thug angry uh, 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 illiterate not knowing how to put two sentences together, always using slang. And slang, there's nothing wrong with slang. But when you're limited to slang or one figure of speech, then we have a problem. See what I'm saying? <laughs> so then the person immediately switched their whole personality to being polite, cordial. These people don't want real relationships. What they want is the stereotype they want to play on the narrative and these narratives i've said this before these narratives is, is having people remain poor you can't build and be an idiot at the same time and what a lot of people have chosen to be is screaming oh i want generational wealth bull but then at the same time they they want to hold the narrative you you can't be in the narrative because you have to be in a relationship, a successful one, for, in order to get financially rich. So that means that you're going to have to calm down the narrative. So let's see how many people want to do that. And see, that's the thing. A lot of people are not going to be interested in calming down the narrative. And that's part of the reason why you Pisces don't want to engage in the first place. Because of the empress, you see the BS for what it is. Why would you why would any of you Pisces decide to be in said relationship when again the narratives exist and people are fighting to keep the stereotypes and the narratives alive they're they're fighting to keep to breathe fresh new life into stupid stereotypes that should be gone by now about you about how relationships should go like most people are fighting to ruin themselves ruin a relationship you know how dedicated to nonsense you have to be pisces to where something happens to you in your childhood and a person is trying to be with you now you and your you in your 30s you in your 40s the person is trying to be with you now somebody trying to be with you and you holding on desperately to some goofy stuff that doesn't happen to you when you were a child what does that say about what it is that you are dedicated to? You understand what I'm saying? And this is why a lot of you Pisces don't want to be around that stuff. Because the Nine of Swords and the Six of Cups, you know, you see it for what it is. But those same individuals still, you know, the, the exes and stuff like this, you, you have exes trying to come back, trying to be with you. And you Pisces are like, why exactly is it that these people are even trying to come back? Because... It's not going to be a healthy, successful relationship where you can you can essentially grow roots. It's a place that you can create a foundation. You Pisces can stay in. No, you have the hangman. The hangman is all about how you Pisces are going to, you know what I mean? You Pisces, you know what I'm saying? You have to remain patient and allow this person to come to their own conclusions that you don't want them. The Seven of Cups and the, and the Seven of Swords represent because you don't see how and why they would come back. You don't even want them to come back. You Pisces, like I said, you're doing great by yourself. Uh, and I'm seeing that you Pisces want this. You want to, to, to be in a relationship, but only if it is worth it. A lot of you would very much so, generally speaking, rather be by yourselves single. Because you don't have to, to run so fast to be in one. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. You have other options. You have the Six of Wands, the Four of Cups, Six of Cups, the uh, King of Swords, and then you have the Seven of Pentacles. Right. Um, so the Six of Wands and the Four of Cups, right? right this person has other people that they're talking to you don't even feel them anymore based upon the principle of what it is that they did you don't want to have anything to do with them 
but they have so many other options and their other options don't mean a, a their other options don't mean squat the, and the four of cups represents the the six of wands is them them trying to rush in trying to say what's up to you the four of cups represents they see you chilling relaxing right it, it, you know what i'm saying living your life and enjoying your life six of cups they want that level of peace too no they don't that's cap because if they wanted it with you they would have still been with you no they want to enjoy that era right because eras come to an end but they want to enjoy that era of peace because they tired of the nonsense that they in that says the king of swords and the uh, seven of pentacles they understand now supposedly the nonsense that they doing but the problem is that they enjoy the stupidity you know like i said before this is why you can't believe a lot of these relationship gurus people sitting up online a lot of the times talking it look believe who it is that you want to believe yo but this is why it is that you can't believe a lot of them because at some point everybody has to come to the level without exception if they're still talking this like you can control that they're crazy because at some point you have to understand that relationships it takes two you know if a person it, there's a there's a such thing called free will I, you know how many times you pisces probably seen people who come from two parent households who turn out to be complete wrecks or good households regardless of whether it's two parents or one parent Right. And they turn out to be wrecks or they they come from a one parent household where statistically they're supposed to be terrible and they're upstanding adults. It comes. Yes. Does having both parents have something to do with it? Yes, of course it does. But at the same time, ultimately, the ultimate decision comes down to personal choice yourself here and in here, your entire existence everywhere. If, if the person chooses, regardless of how much preparation they have had from their parents to be a decent, contributing, upstanding adult, if they refuse to go against that, then that's on them. And there's nothing that anyone can do because they like the stupidity. And this is the conclusion that any honest individual is supposed to come to by definition. Thinking that you can control other human beings, you're psychotic. You're either psychotic or you're selling a dream, factually speaking, because you there's no way that you can control another person. You can have influence over another person where you can you can have say so in what they do, but to have control, like like you like control them, like if you would, you know what I'm saying? Like the way you control your body and all of that is, you, you you can't do that. And a lot of you Pisces see that for what it is. And you and you have came to, and I think a lot of you Pisces have come to that conclusion yourself that there's no way that you're gonna be able to control another person. And that if they legitimately really wanted something real, they then they should have stayed with you, but they didn't. So now you have to stay away from them and allow them to, to do their own thing. But that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And it is a game. They are not planning on actually remaining peaceful. They have not learned anything.